there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back into another video. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your Snake EMU with Honda Tuning Suite. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get this party started. So boys and girls, a couple things you'll need for this is a laptop running Windows. This is a Mac running Windows, it does work. Um, you're going to need a couple different drivers. Uh, you're going to need to visit our buddies over here at Tune on Snake. So let's go to Tune on Snake. TuneonSnake.com. Go underneath the downloads and download your drivers for the Snake EMU. You're also going to need a copy of Honda Tuning Suite, which we already have downloaded. And you're gonna to need to get the drivers installed and navigate to your device manager to determine which ports. The car does need to be on in order for the COM ports to light up for the Windows computer to register and recognize that there is something connected to it. So from here, you see where it says that you've got EMU COM3, EMU COM4? You're going to use the lesser of the two for your actual emulator, and you're going to use the higher of the two for your data logging. So we're going to go back over here into tune, Honda Tuning Suite, and we're going to enter in that information. So we go to File, Settings, and it brings this up. You're going to want to change this to the ostrich, you're going to want to select the lesser of the two ports here. So that was COM3 for me. You need to deselect this for the data logging so it doesn't auto scan the port and select the higher of the two numbers. This is also where you'll configure your wideband. So like this particular car has an older AEM. So we'll go ahead and put that in there and then close the screen. From there, we should be able to connect and down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that you've gotten, well, before it connects, you'll get a message. So real time is enabled. I don't want this to remain enabled, so I'm gonna click no. If you were to leave that enabled, what would happen would be that every time you make a change, the software is going to update the ECU automatically. In our case, we don't necessarily want that to happen right now, so we disabled it. You can leave it on if you're doing some real time tuning, but once that's now off, you'll see down here at the bottom that it actually says that it's connected. Um, from here, we're going to start the car. So let's give it a whirl. This car has a set of injectors that are having issues. So the reason it's here is to get a new set. Um, in addition to that, um, we're having some you know, startup issues because of that. So now once the car is running, you can go back to the data log part here at the top. Actually, in order to be able to data log, we need to download or upload a actual tune. So in this case, we're gonna download what's in the ECU. So it's downloading here. And then we can start data logging that map. So this is the map that's currently, I've sent over to the snake prior. Let's go back to the top here and click on data log and click start. Down here at the bottom, data logging is now connected. And as I give it a little throttle, you can see that it traces the map. So you've successfully configured your snake tuning to Honda Tuning Suite at this point. Any of the changes that you make within this uh, software, do not hold me responsible for. You're on your own, but hopefully this was helpful. And uh, if it was, make sure to give this video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel for a lot of other additional content. And guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.